What's going on guys, Subrash9, and welcome back to another fantastic data pack video. Today we are going to be learning how to add custom structures to specific biomes with data packs in Minecraft 120, and this is also going to include mod and other data pack support as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, we're just going to jump into VS Code right off the rip. So what we need to do to begin is go to our namespace here. In my case, it's Epic Villages. Make sure that thing is underlined. We're going to add a new folder. We're going to call this one Tags. And then inside of Tags, we're going to add another folder. And we're going to call this one World Gen. And then inside of World Gen, we're going to add another folder called Biome. And then inside of Biome, we're going to add another folder called Has underscore Struck sure i cannot spell oh my gosh hang on structure there we go so inside of has structure we're gonna make a new file this one's gonna be json and it is just gonna be called in my case cherry underscore village dot json and that is that so Inside of this JSON file, we are going to actually type this one out today. No copying and pasting here <laughs> like the previous episodes. If you guys uh, don't know already, definitely hit up my Discord. I do have all of these packs and things for the tutorial videos available for download. I can't stress that enough. So if you're having any problems or want to check your JSON configurations and how things are set up. Definitely uh, a nice resource to use. Link is located in the description below. So we're going to start off with the parentheses there. We're going to hit values and uh, it's going to populate all that stuff. Yours should do the same. If not, you're just typing that and then you're going to hit enter. And then we're going to start by adding some default Minecraft biomes. I'm actually going to add um, a bamboo jungle as well just to add some variety so you can see that you can add multiple default minecraft biomes so in this case we're going to start right off the rip with uh the cherry underscore grove there and then to add another default minecraft biome we just need to add the comma there and then quotations and then start typing minecraft again hit enter uh colon and then bamboo jungle right there we'll just add that for uh, tutorial purposes now, this is where things get awesome. So we are going to be adding support for a mod pack that is called Biomes of Plenty. I'm sure you've had or heard of that. We're also going to be adding support for a data pack that is actually pretty popular that is called Terralith. So how do you find the information that you need? So here we are on the internet. So with some quick Google searches, I found Biomes of Plenty wiki here, which actually is going to give us the cherry blossom grove IDs. So you've actually got two here. Um, I guess they also have it with the bamboo grove as well. So these are actually the IDs that you're gonna be inputting into that JSON file that we uh, created. So we've got those two. Now let's head over here to Terralith. I also found a uh, Terralith uh, a page, a wiki that is about Terralith here. And if you scroll down, it actually has a whole bunch of stuff. I, I have that expanded. It's got surface biomes, cave biomes, deep cave biomes, a very useful tool here. So in our case, we're just going to expand that. And then I'm going to do control F to pop this open. And I already kind of messed around trying to find it. But if you just type in cherry, in my case, uh, you can see that it pops up with a snowy cherry grove. And I believe they have a few more. So if we cycle through by hitting enter, we should find, uh, I thought they just had a regular default cherry grove. I guess, uh, oh no, you know what? I think they went fancy with this one. Let's try a ah, soccer valley and soccer grove. There we go. So they're just using an alternate name here. My, my guess is 100% that that's what those are for. So these are the IDs as well for Terralith that we need to input into our a data pack. So let's get started with that. All right, so we're gonna start off by adding the Biomes of Plenty Cherry Blossom. Why not, let's do that one. So with that said, we have our comma there. So we are gonna go down to the next line. We're gonna add some more brackets like so, and then we are gonna add ID like that. And then this is where I'm going to head over to my browser. You guys won't see this. I'm just gonna copy and paste it over. Uh, into here so that we have that that is all set up so then now we just need our comma here and then underneath that we are going to type required like that with uh, the quotations first then auto fill with uh, required and then false I think if we just hit enter nope that didn't work I'm gonna type this this one when it does this it confuses me there we go sweet 
All right, and then uh, we're gonna add more support. So let's do the same thing. We just need a comma here and then a, another parenthesis, and then boom, we are good with uh, that one. And then we can literally just copy this format here and uh, paste it in. So let's do that real quick, boom. Uh, we are configured for that, and we're going to change this to Bamboo Grove, because that was the other one that they have. So, Bamboo Grove. So then there's that. Beautiful. Now, let's add some Terralith support as well. So, Terralith has the Sakura Grove, which I'm completely assuming <laughs> is uh, the Cherry Blossom biome because they had that snowy cherry biome. We're gonna add that one too, because why not? You know what I mean? We're just gonna add support for all this stuff. So same thing, we can just literally copy and paste this. This is gonna get redundant at this point. So I will do the first tear lift and then uh, we'll come back after I've added all the other ones. So let's copy from the internet the tear lift ID and paste that in there as well. So before I jump to finishing the rest of this out, cause now it's just copying and pasting and being redundant. You guys don't need to see all of that there. I'm gonna fill this out some more and add some more support. I want to highlight the required false here and why this is important. So I personally like to leave this false. Now, if you're building a data pack that is specific to working with Biomes of Plenty, you would want this to be true because you want your data pack to find specifically Biomes of Plenty mod pack and it's required as an install basically. If you set that to true, that's what it is looking for. If you leave it to false, your data pack will still work, obviously, because we have default Minecraft biomes that it's looking for. This is not needed. So that's why I leave it false. So that's just some information if you don't know about uh, the required section here. So with that said, I'm going to keep filling this out some more and add some support for Terralith. And uh, I'll come back to you guys once I have that finished. All right, so I finished configuring this JSON file. I added more support for Terralith, not too much more, but just a little bit. So what we need to do now is come into, I'm gonna close that folder. We're gonna go into our world gen folder. We're gonna go to our structure folder and we are gonna go to, in my case, village underscore cherry dot JSON. It would be whatever file you have in here if you're building your own thing. Um, and we're gonna go inside of this. And this is gonna be the important part that we're changing up here. So inside these quotations, we're gonna select this and we are gonna delete this. And this is where all of that magic we just did gets set in to happen. So inside of um, biomes here, we're gonna do hashtag and then we're gonna be calling our name space, which is in my case, village or epic villages. And then we are going to do our colon and then we are going to do has structures. As you can see, the populated right there, that is beautiful. That is exactly what we want. And then we are going to do forward slash, and then we will have a cherry village. Now, I named it cherry village, village so that you guys can see that it is specifically calling this folder because I'm getting really redundant with village underscore cherry. I just wanted to make it really obvious for tutorial purposes. So here we are. This is good to go. We can go save all. And when we go into our world, load this data pack up, We'll be searching for all of this stuff inside of here. So we will be spawning inside of the cherry grove. We will be spawning inside of the bamboo jungle. And then if we have biomes and plenty installed, which I do not, it would be spawning here in the cherry blossom grove, bamboo grove, etc., etc. Same thing with Terralith. And that is how you add your custom structures to specific biomes with your data pack. So without further ado, let's jump into Minecraft. All right, so here we are. I've loaded up a fresh new world and we are gonna make sure that our data pack is working as planned so far. This is the first time I've actually tested it in uh, a few episodes, I believe. So with that said, let's see if we know what we're doing here. So forward slash locate, and then we're gonna do structure. And then in our case, uh, for me, it's gonna be epic villages. We're gonna start typing that, as you can see, populated. So I'm gonna hit tab, and then we are gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna hit F1 so that we can see it. It should populate there. There we go. So we've got coordinates. Let's click on it and teleport to it. All right, so this is good. We see this stuff spawning in. We got a few rare structures in here as well. Beautiful. Might have to swap these out, make some changes and stuff with uh, their spawn rates, but everything is coming in here good. This looks great. Um, I see some issues with some of the buildings here that we need to address, but that's no big deal. But we know that it is working. That one is on fire. What is going on, dude? Um, but yeah, so we know that it is spawning in properly everything is working as intended 
So it is finding the biomes and placing it. So therefore, with Biomes of Plenty and Terralith, it should do exactly the same thing. So that is it for today's data pack video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If so, please hit the like button for the love of bacon. If you know what I'm saying, be safe, be kind, know that you're appreciated, and I will catch you in the next one.